in today's video, we finish and attach our dangly bookmark and we make a closure out of elastic. We also add a fun little envelope to one of our signature ties. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to the messy desk. We are continuing on after our marathon crafting session yesterday, uh, working in the journal that we made during the July VIP virtual internet party for those that finished the July challenge. And today I'm going to add a bookmark and I'm going to um, add a closure, a, something a little bit different. Remember this um, is a cardstock cover on this journal. There's over a hundred pages in here and it is using the Garden Ladies digital kit that all of those that finish their journal in July, they receive this digital kit and, and during the party I gave them some ideas on how to use it. So, um, and then I've put together this journal. So let's go ahead and start with the bookmark. So yesterday I made um, this bookmark using some of the fabric and I just added one of the beads here. It actually came up out. I was able to pull it out and put my fabric through and then I added some bead dangles to it. So I want to make sure that that comes down underneath the bottom of the journal. And then this I'm going to go ahead and I just want to put it right up here at the top. Okay, so it's going to just go right here. I'm going to go ahead and use my crocodile because it works so well for this. I'm going to use the larger hole on this side and I'm going to go ahead and put it in there right up right up to the edge make sure I'm on the center okay a crocodile is an amazing tool it will go through several <laughs> several uh, different types of material including um, like aluminum can yeah even I, I on my um, DIY channel dear Julie Julie DIY um, for Easter I had picked up some of those uh, the garden tins little pots at Aha, uh -huh. here's a brown one. I'm looking for an eyelet. <laughs> um, so here I have a brown eyelet. It's pretty good size. I think I should be able to fit my fabric piece through this. This will just help to um, keep this secure. And since I have this fabric on the outside, I just think that this is going to be a great way to do this. And of course, if I'd have thought of it before I sewed the signature in, that would have been the best time to go ahead and add this. I'm going to move this over. I might be out of frame because I so that I can see and get enough pressure. I thought it would be kind of cool to have a bookmark that I could use as I was working in the journal. So here is our bookmark. Again, I want the bead to dangle down at the bottom. So I'm going to come up here to the top. So Crocodile, highly recommend it. Um, Highly, highly recommend it. Okay. 
So um, not sure if I if my husband's working tomorrow or not. So if he's working, we will be live tomorrow. Um, if he's not, then you'll have a pre-recorded video premiering at 10:30. Okay. So here we go. Let's go ahead. Do that. Just like that. And then I'm going to pull it down just a little bit more. I think I want to go ahead and add um, some of this fabric that I have. Or do we have the, no, we have the piece with some red in it. Let's do that. Okay. So remember when I was, um, uh, if you were at the party when I went to rip this, my fabric... Um, the red piece, it ripped straight across instead of down. It was like so disappointing, but you know, that, <laughs> that stuff happens. <laughs> this week, that stuff happens live. <laughs> okay, so, um, go ahead. Again, I like to use all the scraps if I can. And so here we are. We've used one of the scraps to make the bookmark. And now I'm adding in this one here. And what this is going to do is it's going to give me a place to tie this in. It will end up being a little um, tied piece up here at the top. Let's see if I pull it up just a little bit more. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and just tie this. Got all this fraying too, which, which I actually like. Okay, so there. Okay, so that gives us this look on the edge up there and we have our bookmark dangle okay and it, it matches along with our signature tie dangles here that's right we need to make another um, signature tie and we're gonna go ahead and do this um, envelope okay so there's a mini envelope in the mini ephemera. This one has the shoe on it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out the envelope form. Cut out the little indentations. We have a, we have some things on one of the, the ties, but not on all of them. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this envelope. So go ahead and close it up like it's an envelope. And this, this particular one has the shoe, the picture of the shoe. So if you can figure out your shoe direction, you can't, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm going to go ahead and set this up so that it's going to come at a diagonal. And look, we're on the shoe page as well. Okay. So that will give us that. Okay, so let's go ahead and stick some glue in there. I'm so excited. The um, sassy, large sassy kits are being mailed today. Um, and they are fun. I did find some more things to add to them. So be surprised and I hope you're excited. Um, let's see, let's go with this way. So down, down, there's that. 
and then we'll put our glue on this here. Okay. So there's that one, and I think we'll go ahead and tie a knot just so that it doesn't come down further. And if you missed out, um, I had this all sewn in and um, one of my strings broke. So I retied it with the red. Okay, so if you're that. here for the premiere, I'm waving. Hi! And say hello to Lucy. Hi, Lucy. I'm so glad you've joined us today. If this is your first time here, make sure you come on over to the chat and you say hello so we can welcome you. And for those of you that have come back, don't forget to join us in the chat. Uh, we are so excited to have this place that we can check up on each other and craft along. Um, it's been a great outlet for several of us during this time. And we'd love to know if, if you have appreciated the being able to get together at 1030 Pacific Standard Time every day during this time. So with that, yes, we are the premiere format today, which means this video is pre-recorded and I'm probably over in the chat and able to answer questions and hang out with you. Um, and we do this every day with a new crafty video. Usually it's junk journaling. Sometimes it might be a shopping haul for supplies or even some happy mail. So it's a lot of fun and we'd love to have you join us um, each day at 1030. We also have a Facebook group where we can share, you can all share your projects. And that has been really, really fun. And within that, we have some other things going on. Don't forget, we have a challenge, a junk journal challenge on this channel each month. And our new challenge will begin September 1st. And it's a surprise, no hints. So back to our program. Let's go ahead and put our plastic down just so that the glue doesn't <laughs> doesn't come in and uh, and get us there and then I'm just gonna tie some knots in this one okay just tie knots um, knots are kind of cool as a, a decoration as well So we just have knots on that one. We have our envelope on this one. So our signature ties are done. Our bookmark is done. And now we're on to the closure. Well, let's go ahead and put you on there. Um, so I found this piece of this coppery, rusty um, elastic. And I was like, oh my gosh, that would be perfect. I'm just trying to decide whether to do a hitch post um, fastener or to do a band. So if I did a band, um, okay, so a band, then you would have to take it off and put it on. Uh, my thing is the fact that this is paper, but I, you know what? We're going to go ahead and we'll go with the hitch post and just need to make sure I have, yeah, I do a brown, another brown. Okay. So, um, 
I am going to go ahead and go with the hitch post fastener here. And so we'll need an eyelet on the back side. So we're going to use our crocodile again. And you might want to go ahead and measure. Okay, so we are. nine and a quarter so that's four and a half and an eighth four and a half and an eighth so right there now why I don't know why I ended up I'm I obviously measured wrong somewhere. I'm just using my needle to make my my hole there. I need to get the stuff out of here or I won't be able to see where the hole is going. Okay, so my ho the hole is clear so that I can see in it. There's the little dot. There's the little dot. Okay, there we go. And putting it in. I'm gonna put the pretty side on the outside because that's the, the side that you're more more likely to see. I'm gonna put it in. And press down. Okay. So that is going to be that. So now what I'm going to want is I am going to want something that will go through and come up. And we happen to have hitch fasteners here. So... I think we'll go with the coppery one. So I need to find a copper. Okay, so the, the hitch, this is a Tim Holtz hitch fastener. It has a little, this is the hitch fastener right here. A little, like a doorknob. And there's the little screw. Okay, so on the front, we're also going to need a, a hole, and so four and a half and a little bit, okay, four and a half and the next bit. Four and a half and a bit. Okay, so there's my spot for my hole. I want some more weight to this. We'll add the smaller one. It's okay. Go ahead and put that. And you know what? How about some of the fabric that we've been using? Oh, 
there's that piece. Okay, so one for the top and one for the bottom. Go ahead and put the hole through. Let's see if this An amazing tool look at I was able to put holes through okay so I'm going to put this one on the bottom and this one on the top take that screw and it's going to go through the two pieces and we'll screw our okay that's going to give us Okay, so that will give us that. Okay, so now um, a lot of times I will use a hair tie to go ahead and um, close. And so we are going to go ahead. It's going to come through down here. And I just wanted to get an idea of how... how big or small this needs to be. Okay, so room for a knot. You know what, this is not big enough that I need to try and <laughs> Did you see that? I was trying to save and it's going to just make it harder to do what I need to do here. Okay. We can decorate the end of that. Okay, so there it's pulling through. Okay, and now let's look at this and see if we can if we can do something with this. different kinds of beads here. Let's see if we can find another one of these that's yeah see like that. Pull that up. Okay, I have an idea. <laughs> okay, so we'll pull the bead apart. See, pull this out. We'll 
go ahead and put a knot in the bottom of this. Okay. Put that knot inside the bead. So the knot goes inside the bead and then go ahead and close the bead. Okay, there we go. Not inside the bead, close the bead. I love it. Okay, and then we'll on this side this up because right now we're too big for anything except that bead okay so then see if we can Go ahead and put this bead through, or put the elastic through this bead. Literally just pushing it through. Okay, so there we go. We have that one. Tie a knot. So we have the big gold bead, little gold bead. I think we can put that through that pearl. If we it has a pretty good size. The smallest crochet hook that I have in here is this one. Let's see. We can try it. I don't think it's, I don't know. We can try it. Wouldn't that be cool if that worked? This was suggested yesterday and I was like, I don't have the real tiny ones are not here in the craft room. Okay, well we got it started. Let's use this pen to
Okay, here we go. Pull. Got it. Made it through. Okay. Let's tie this. So that is our closure has those beads on it now. And I love the way they turned out. So we made our, or we attached our bookmark. We made our bead dangle and we, a bead dangle closure. And we also, don't forget, we made our, and attached our little envelope for our signature strings. I'm pretty excited about this journal. And like I said, it was to start, it started out to be just supposed to be really simple, but I just kept adding to it. I'm gonna go ahead and I will put a playlist for junk journals up here. And I will add an embellishment video over here for you to continue watching for your crafty watching pleasure or crafty company. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an amazing day and I'll see you tomorrow at 1030. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.